Today, we're topwater fishing a hidden trophy pond. Not only did we smack the bass, but we also went on a journey in unfished waters. But make sure you stick around because we have a special guest. Out here at this beautiful trophy pond, I got a top water on right here. This is actually a mock patroller. If you guys want to check any of the mock baits out, it'll be linked down below. Discount code on the screen. Got it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys want to check it out, kickingtheirbass.com. It'll be linked down below. But before we get our baits in the water and catch some of these fish, I got a special guest I want to show you. So I said I got a special guest with me today. You guys aren't going to believe it. Just remember, hashtag bring dad back back in the What's comments. Up? What's <laughs> popping, people? Daddy Van Dam in the house. People have been asking for you, man. People have been doing the hashtag bring dad back Yo, in the comments. Listen, you if guys, you guys ever want Big Steve on the channel, show me some love. What do you got to do? Hashtag bring dad back. Hashtag Daddy Van Dam. Put me in the game, man. Put me in the game, coach. So I came back into town. His birthday birthday was a couple days ago tomorrow is father's day so it's like the birthday father day special yeah. i had a big surprise for you for the father's birthday day. father's day beat down is what it's gonna be dude <laughs> <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens by the end of it we're gonna be fishing top water today so that's always exciting we're at a pond that we've never been to before before we get deeper into this video only 27 percent of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed so if you could take the time hit the subscribe button really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. We're gonna see how good it is today. Supposedly it's a trophy pond that has a bunch of eight to 10 pound bass. They caught, they've shown them a lot of pictures and it doesn't seem like this place would have like a ton of just crazy fish, but sometimes these are the places that hold the giants. And uh, I guess we're gonna find out today, but this is what we're gonna do. We'll do like a tournament. It'd be kind of like a challenge, but it's gonna be big fish. Y'all go ahead and hedge your bets cause big daddy's gonna put the whacking on them. <laughs> we'll see, I, I brought something special out today. Big thanks to A-Dub because he left his scale at my house and I have a really nice scale. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, A Dub. Yeah, I've been using A Dub scale. I have, a, I have multiple other scales, but they're horrible. So, yeah, we're going to be weighing all the big fish so we can get after today. I'm going to have Big Steve show you guys what he's going to be rigging up. I'm going to show you guys what I'm rigging up. Then we're going to get out to the pond and catch some big ones. Big so, let's Steve's go ahead. going to be filming today. Let's go ahead go and get it done. Check out the channel. You know what's up. Yes, sir. Go big check out his channel. House. Down below, WFO Steve. We'll link it. All right, guys. So, we have all of our tackle. You guys know I've been throwing this thing a lot, guys. This is the patroller. So, one rule in thumb when I go out to a place, if it's a sunny day, I like to use chrome. If it's more of a cloudy day, I like to use more of the bone and white colors. This one has more of a glimmer, a little pearl to it. This would still be a good bait today with the sun being out, but I just have. I don't know. I think the, the chrome might be better today. So that's what we're going to tie on. I'm going to go ahead and rig up and we're getting after it. All right. So I'm going to start my day off with this little, first off, kicking their bass combo and a little Strike King popper. If they're not biting on that, then I've got a uh, chatterbait tied on and always carry a fluke with me everywhere I go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this start. Oh, dad, look at that. Right, right there. You see that little? All right, here's first cast. A little tiny, dude. Oh, dude, there's multiple right here. I'm excited about this right here. I think this is going to be a day to remember. I think we're going to smoke these fish. Big Steve starting that corner, so we'll walk down this way. Oh, big boil, big boil. There's like a little tree in the water right there, and I saw boil come right towards my bait. That's pretty crazy. Oh, yes. Look at that. Dude, I didn't even move it. He just destroyed it. Not a big one by any means, but this is a nice fish to start off with. Dude, I didn't even move my bait. He instantly destroyed it the moment it hit the water. Look at that. We on board, but numbers don't count today. It's big fish. This one's only about a pound and a half. But guess what? We got to start somewhere, and that is an exciting way to start the video. What, like three casts in, probably three minutes into the day. And we already got a bass. Beautiful too, super healthy. You can tell these fish are gonna be nice in here. Thank you, buddy. We're gonna give them a little toss. It's a little shallow right there. There he goes. Well guys, mock patroller struck first. I think Big Steve's gonna catch a lot on that popper as well, but I've just been on the mock patroller grind. Then again, that popper, you had the big bite the other day with Tara when I was throwing this. So I guess we never know. We'll see today what ends up catching the big fish. All right, boys, let's see what we can do. Steve gonna get on this shade line. Oh, I just got hit. It didn't seem like a big one, but I did get hit. Dude, no way. Dude, look at that. 
I got a, I got one of the patrollers. That's pretty crazy, guys. That's literally another mock bait that I just found floating in the pond right there. What in the world? I guess somebody else has been smoking them on a patroller. That's pretty cool to see. What are the chances of me finding the same bait that I was throwing in this pond that I've never been to before? That's pretty crazy. Oh, he blew up on me and I missed him. There he is. Out there in the middle. All right, first fish on. I was just about to give up on this top water too. Guys, one thing that I didn't, I, I mean, I've told you guys a million times, but for the new viewers watching, Big Steve's allergic to fish. Yeah, that's, that's bigger than the one I caught. Well, we're both on board. I got one pretty quick. Big Steve just got his first one. Yeah. Good job, dude. No giants yet, but we got to start somewhere. We both got on board here. There he goes. All right, guys. Coming back over to this corner, I totally, for some reason, I had like a brain fart and I was like, oh yeah, Big Steve's got one. And I was like, wait, I gotta go take it off the hook. But yeah, he's been allergic ever since I was little, ever since I started fishing. Like even when I was young and he would take him off the hook, he would have to use these big gloves, but it's not even worth risking anymore. I would just rather take it off for him. He's severely allergic. This shade line right here has to have a good fish. I mean, it looks so good. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, dude, that's insane. Oh my gosh. That is two different times, guys. Never moved my bait, but the fish just had it. Look, at, I got him under his chin. Well, this pond is juicy, guys. Definitely a good, another about pound, pound and a half. -er. Not as big as Big Steve's, but uh, still a beautiful fish right there in the shade where we thought he was going to be. And he just came up the same way came up and just ate it right away that's insane that's just been the reaction that i've been getting i haven't even been like working it in all the way they just instantly blow up all right guys well i have two fish big steve has one doesn't really matter because it's the big fish today and if we were ending the competition right now technically just because i have two fish doesn't mean i win big steve would definitely be the leader his fish was definitely bigger than mine but let's keep it going there's got to be another one in the shade right here it just looks so good oh no Boys, these fish are dirt shallow. Dude, that feels like a better one. Yeah, that's a better one. <laughs> oh. There we go, boys. See, that's a little bigger than my last two, but not by much. Still a nice fish. He's a good fish, but you remember this is a big fish competition, so I think I still got you. Don't get cocky over there yet. We need at least like a four or five, but I think we're gonna get a seven, eight pounder, dude. I feel it. Nice little two pounder. We'll take him all day long. Thank you, baby. There she goes. All right, guys, we're gonna start working our way back around to where we started, and then I'm gonna try to get inside of those trees over there. I'm gonna tie on like a frog and try to get that frog way up in the trees. I feel like that'll be a cool way to catch them if we can do it. So I'm gonna go back through where we fish, maybe uh, catch some of these bass that pulled up on the bank and keep going from there. It's been a little slow, but we are talking about early lunch time, you know, coming out here. We didn't get out here super early. There we go. That's the big, that's the biggest one. That's a nice one. Not a giant, oh, I got him hooked weird and he came off. That was such a cool bite too. I think he just swiped at it. Like I think he came up and just kind of swiped and didn't get it all the way in his mouth because I had him kind of hooked under his chin like that last one, that was so weird. Dang, that was a nice fish though. Oh, he's got hit again. Wasn't a massive one, but definitely the biggest one today. I wish I could have landed it. It's always the dang good ones that come off. I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't get it. What in the world? Look at that little bass chasing bait right there. It's multiple. Multiple. I just went right over his head. Little bass got all these bluegill pinned up against the bank. See that bass right there? Oh yeah, look at all those baby bluegill. 
At first I thought it was probably some big fish trying to eat them, but there's a ton of bluegill right there. Look at the look at the baby bass right there. Look at him, he's just looking at me. Baby bass, bunch of bluegill. That's crazy, man. That's cool to see. Oh my gosh, was that a big one? I totally wasn't paying attention. Jeez, let's see if we'll eat again. He totally missed it. It was a big boil. All I know, all this uh, stuff on the bottom is all twirled up. There we go. He just came up and barely ate that thing. Let's go, baby. Oh my gosh, this is hyper. Dude, why am I hooking these fish so weird? Look at this. <laughs> I got them right in the top of the head. Dang live bait bass. I'm just kidding, dude. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're not live bait. I'm releasing you. All right, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Just let me let me release you, Bubba. Let me release you. If you stop doing that, I can get you in the water. Don't make me put you on the ground. This is probably the hardest one to unhook just because you got him by the back. Not a big one by any means, but a pretty fish. I don't know if that's the same one that bit us. The two bites were just so different. The first one was like an insane blow up. The second one, he literally just came up and ate it. You could barely see me at the top. Here we go. All right, boys, well, we're catching some fish. We just haven't found the giants yet, so we might need to switch up strategies. And I might end up doing what I was talking about. Tying on my frog, get in all those laydowns. I just feel like that's where all the big ones are, is up in that shade, up in those laydowns, all up in that cover. Let's go ahead and cut off this patroller. It put in a good bit of work today. We did pretty good with it, but it seems to have a repetitive theme. And that repetitive theme is it's not catching the big ones currently. So we're gonna actually cut off the patroller. I'm still surprised with this work. I'm, I'm impressed with the work that it did get done today. But let's go ahead and tie something else on. You know, today is a topwater day. At least that's what I'm wanting to do. And I really want to throw a popping frog. I'm dying to throw a popping frog right now. I'm trying to think of where my frog's at. I think I got it in here. Let's see. Yes, sir. There is our popping frog. We're going to tie this puppy on. Then we're going to go down this bank with all the trees where things are going to get crazy. Try to skip this frog up in the shade lines, work it over by the trees. I might be able to get some really big ones doing that. I'm just hoping we can get in these trees. I'm going to show you all in a second, but it's very grassy. And I'm a little skeptical on doing it, but we'll see if there's any spots we can sneak in. There we go. Popping pickle, all tied up. grab our boots if we're going in the woods here definitely don't want to wear the hay dudes if we go in in the bushes should probably check for spiders i have had some big spiders crawling my boots and i do not need no spider or snake in my boot so gotta double check that so big steve said he saw about an eight nine pounder freaking straight monster but this is where our journey begins we got this fence right here we could totally get on this side and be fine it's just down there where it's gonna get a little iffy so i'm gonna walk on this side maybe we just play this a little crazy man <laughs> and do this let's see if we can get a couple fish like just thrown over the fence walk down here and kind of see what we're playing with until you hook a stump there we go but there's some monsters in here we just talked to the owner as well super nice guy these people are awesome he said that a lady caught a 12 pounder on scale she caught a 12 pounder on a freaking cane pole dude i've never heard anything like that he said she was hollering and screaming that's just unbelievable so if there's any way you can catch a dang 12 pounder heck i'd be happy with a dang five pounder right now i'll be ecstatic let alone a dang Eight, nine, ten pounder, I'd, I'd be losing my mind. Hopefully Big Steve could catch it. As much as I want to win the challenge, it'd be cool to see him catch that and catch his PB. But these, this shade line, these trees are the key for these big fish. Can't really pop this frog how I want. Walk down just a little more. Oh my gosh, boys. We might have the craziest clip of the century. Oh my gosh. I just want to see one of these absolute behemoths smash this frog. I'd lose my mind. I had to be very careful, but I made it. We got a one, watch out for slithery little things. Two, watch out for ticks. Guys, I have been going through Lyme disease for three years, and it is the worst thing that can happen to you. Highly suggest be careful with the ticks. It is the worst thing. It has sucked the life out of you, I'm telling you. My dad's gone through the same thing. I hear him freaking blowing up. I had one swirl right on. It was like it was. Oh, dude. Look at that. 
Oh my gosh. What a freaking catch. That was probably a top three bite of the year. Oh man. One of the recent videos we had a massive, you know, four to five pounder come out of a tire and eat a frog. That had to be one of the top bites right there. Wow, that had me pumped up. Only about a pound and a half. We're just gonna give him a toss. Thank you, baby. I landed my frog under that tree and uh, I saw something kind of dive and then I popped it one time, it was done. <laughs> that is awesome. That's why we threw the pop and pickle. All right, boys, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can do. Oh my gosh. That's exactly what I want. I want to go on a little journey throwing frogs in this hidden water. We freaking made it happen. I don't know if y'all saw that blow up. I sure hope y'all did because that was just legit, man. Only if that was like a five, six pounder, that would have been legit. They're putting a serious whooping on me right now. I always say there's two types of people in this world. There's people who love to win and there's people who hate to lose. Losing pisses me off. So I am in the hate to lose category for sure so going this way i'm sorry boys that's dang near impossible but we can walk back where we came from and try to get a couple flips God, this is not easy well, guys i think that's about all she wrote for this little spot Guys, I'm just checking my legs. This is something all y'all need to do. I'm telling you, that Lyme disease sucked the life out of me for a couple years. I was, I have never been the same ever since. I'm still dealing with it. Just triple check yourselves. All right, guys, changing plans. We went on the adventure with the frog. We got a fish out of it. That was rewarding. Big Steve's been throwing a chatter dog out there in the middle. Hasn't had any bites, which I have one on right here, but I have an even better idea. One thing that we haven't tried, we started off with top water, caught some fish, went to the frog, went on a journey in the trees, now it is time to open the trap house i'm thinking more of a natural color in here probably not like a red the water's fairly clear i'm liking that one it's like a sexy shad got a little bit of chrome blue on the back red eye we're gonna tie that on that should be a good change in pace big steve's throwing that chatter dunk just not having much luck so let's give it a shot There we go. First fish on the trap. Just barely picked it up there. Not big. Let him get back in the water by himself. Well, that's the first bite on the trap. It took me about 20 casts. I was hoping to get slammed a little quicker than that, but might as well throw a couple more. I was actually about to go back and cut it off. Trying to figure out what these fish want. We are getting a little later in the afternoon here, later after lunch, and it's pretty hot, man. Seems like they were eating pretty decent when we got here. Now they're getting them pretty slow. Doing big C. Ah, oh, getting burned. You can tell guys, like over the last, like I'd say hour, they just kind of shut off completely. We've only had a couple bites here. Definitely might need to slow it down to a soft plastic. I know our goal was to throw top water the whole time today, but sometimes you gotta adjust to catch the fish. That is exactly what we're doing right now. We're just adjusting, trying new things, figuring out what they want. So I'm gonna rig up an old Texas rig and get to work here. Three eighth ounce bullet weight, four out extra wide gap hook, basic little Texas rig. Tie this up the uni knot boom cut our tag in Ooh. we're going for giants oh my gosh this is a magnum monster holy cow look at how big that worm is the best time to throw these big worms is right now in the summertime i wish i had a bigger hook like a five aught i'm really gonna have to let this fish eat it but if we're wanting to catch an eight to twelve pounder i think this is the snack that he'll want we're just gonna throw it out there and wish for the best maybe we'll end up getting a couple just monstrous bass to bite that that's the biggest worm i've thrown in a minute look at that thing do you put a monster on there that's a magnum monster i know what a magnum monster is I got one myself. I wrestle with it once or twice a day. <laughs> she thinking Big Steve go over to this other side? I'm getting scorched. Pretty hot. I'd say uh, we definitely go on this other side, give it a shot. One good thing too is that far tree on the far corner, there's a bunch of laydowns that we can kind of cast beside with this worm. Might get lucky. He saw one big one, so he knows they're in there. There's a bass right there. Dude, still jumping under this tree. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's got it, dude. Oh, he's running so far. Yeah. Not a, not what you expect to catch on a worm bigger than this whole bass. What? You're smoking me. I'm glad that you made this a big fish contest because I'm still winning. Bro, that worm is barely, this fish is a little longer than that worm. That's a pretty cool bite. First bass on the big worm. Thank you, buddy. There you goes. You wouldn't think that you would catch a small one on this, but what blows my mind even more is that fish had to have ate that worm all the way to get that hook. That's what's even crazier. Bro, this fish is half the size of my worm. Dude, look at this. Look at this. How'd you catch him? I don't even know. Look how good the hook's in his mouth. That makes no sense. The worm is bigger than the fish. If he ate that worm all the way, it'd come out his butt and out his mouth. That's the thing. The hook's only an inch past the front of the worm. So he, I don't, uh, to be honest, I have no idea. I have no idea how he even got that. Look at this. Little baby bluegill. That's what they're running up on the shoreline. Yep. Tiny bluegill. Yeah, he's not alive, but. We can go hit somewhere else or we can just go to your pond. Yeah. Maybe we can look on the map so we can go to that place Connor is talking about. Even that one we passed. I've been washing my rocks. <laughs> He's a little tiny one. Dude, I've been casting over there for 10 minutes. Dude, I felt him through the slack of my line. <laughs> he ain't big. Yeah, Maybe it's the big worm. Felt him hit it all the way. Dude, I have my line so slack. Felt it just tick, tick, tick. We got the same weight. We got the same everything. You just got a bigger worm. That's what she said. All right, the bigger worm, man. Oh, there he is. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We are going to go to a different pond. It just slowed down tremendously. Got a few bites on the worm and uh, caught a few fish on it. Nothing crazy, but uh, best thing to do here is to keep on moving. We have some other ponds that got some giants in it. And... Uh, keep on doing what we're doing see if we can land a few monsters i've caught a ton of fish today but technically big steve is still in the lead with the big fish challenge i feel like or maybe we're tied i don't know i had that one good one on that was like three pounds and that was it big steve saw a big one swimming they're just not biting right now daddy van dam what's popping people <laughs> the next day what's going on Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I got myself smoked. Noah got himself in trouble because he said it was a big fish competition. I definitely won the big fish competition, but he creamed me in numbers for sure. For sure. What do you say we call that one even and we start over fresh? That's what I was thinking. We'll, we'll, we'll start over fresh. Give the old man a chance. We're gonna go walk down to the pond. Total different pond today, the one in his neighborhood. So we're gonna go down and fish that. I'm gonna be rocking with Old Pop and Pickle. By the way, you want to check out Kicking Their Bass Combos, kickingtheirbass.com. Then I'm going to bring a fluoro combo with me. This one's got that big worm that we ended off on, but I'm trying to figure out what we're going to throw, but we'll probably end up doing the same thing. We'll go down there. You want to do big fish or numbers? How about whatever I do best in there? Big challenge. <laughs> we'll finish up rigging up and we're going to get down to that pond. I think it's going to be really good. And they put a lot of bait in that pond over the last couple of months or over the last year. Yeah, that been, place has turned about over, two dude. Years. Yeah, we. We loaded it full of bait. We put some brush piles in. We took out a lot of the baby, baby bass that were eating up everything. And it seems like the size is getting bigger on the normal. So let's see what happens. You're talking like double the size though. They've oh got, yeah, they, yeah, went, they went from a bunch of one pounders to at least twos and threes now. All right guys, I made it down to the pond. Looking pretty good. Challenge starts now, Big Steve. Right now. Listen, and y'all already know, I got the chatter dunk on outside of black and blue and I got the pop and pickle. Oh, yeah, dude, I got smoked right there. I don't know if he's small. He never had it. I thought he did. Oh, you see how slow you're working that? You yeah. Moving it. I was letting it fall. Dang, that's a tiny one. Look he got it down in there, too. Dude, that is a brute for how small he is, though. Well, Big Steve struck first. Not a big one. We ain't gonna wait that one. But hey, I started somewhere. All right, guys, we're using the chatter donk. Big Steve got the first fish on the fluke. Chatter donk has been 
one of my favorite baits to throw in this pond. Usually catch them pretty good on it. Oh no. What is that out there, dude? Brush ball? That sucks. I ain't coming off, I don't think. Oh, he came off. Oh, oh, that was a good bite. That was my first like good little bite there. Dang. He took my tail, dude. Took my little paddle. That felt good. Let's see if he'll eat it again. He should. Come on, fish. Oh, dude, come on. There's got to be a small one, maybe. You could definitely catch him on that fluke. Dude, he is pulling on my bait so hard. I can't imagine this fish is below two pounds, but this fish is going crazy, bro. That's three casts in a row. Make it four. What in the world, man? All right, guys, we're gonna head down this bank. Had a couple bites, but nothing crazy. Except for that one fish, he was angry. Usually they'll bite you twice in a row, and if you get a third bite, that's a blessing. But that fish bit me four times and didn't get it all four times. He had to have been small. We waited too long again to come out here. Should have been here this morning. Got him. Just a baby. That is not going to be big fish. I don't know. Maybe big fish today. These are probably the smallest ones in there. That's what I'm saying. For these to be the smallest, just how fat, you know. Not a big fish contender. At least I don't think. <laughs> That's what happened yesterday, so I don't know. There we go, little fish. Thank you, buddy. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's a nice one, guys. That's a pretty one. Got a little thick body. He's got a huge mouth. He came off. Dang it. Oh, he was on this flat right here. Maybe there's pushed up a little shallow this morning. Not a big one. Like if that was a three, four pounder, I would have been more upset, but still I would have taken the lead. We got another fish. Yeah, they're on this flat, dude. There we go. And of course it's a pound smaller. I'll take them though. I need to get on board with something, guys. That might take the lead, but I don't want this fish to win it. Nothing against that bass, but I need one bigger. Two casts, two bites on this flat. Got to be more out here. There we go, three casts. Yeah, they're up. They're loaded on this flat, dude. Oh no, I think I lost my swim bait. Yeah, I did. Come on, baby. Okay, that is a hundred percent leader. Oh, pound and a half here. Thick body. That was a good bite. Took my trailer though, and I'm I'm stupid because I didn't bring out another trailer. Pretty fish, not big by any means, but nice one. Thank you, Bubba. All right, we walked around the other side of the lake. No. Boy, I just spooled the whole heap. You know what snozz a lot of this one. I don't know if I can recover from this. Switching it up, tying on a chatterbait since Noah's smoking my tail on it. And I really messed up my other rod. So I grabbed this rod and it's got a lot thicker line on it. It won't work real good with a fluke, I don't think. So chatterbait action it is. There he is. No, I'm just saying there he is for no reason. All right, all you guys know I'm allergic to fish and Noah's all the way on the other side of the pond, so I'm gonna see if I can't release this guy with the pliers here. Oh yeah, there you go, baby. About time something happened around here. The thought, sucker. Don't want none of this. Don't know who you're messing with. I'm the original. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was another good one, dude. <laughs> That was another two pounder. What is up with me, man? I can't. Dang it. Oh. I forgot to tell you I doled the hook on that chatterbait. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Dang, man. Two lost fish for me today and they were both like two pounders. 
I could tell that one felt good too. And then when he jumped, I was like, man, two pounder used to be rare out here, which is crazy, like a year, year and a half back. But now it's just almost every cast you can catch a dang two pounder. All right, guys. So we put on this white swim bait, and ever since that, I just stopped getting bites. I think I had one bite on it. So I went back, brought the truck down, grabbed one of the black and blue swim baits just to pair it up. That's money, boys. That's money. See if that changes our luck with these bites. They were eating the chowder donk pretty good for a minute there gotta find a new stack of fish it's so weird how this pond lays out i mean it's kind of how anywhere you fish is you know you find one or two fish you're finding more this one is usually not random you know you catch one you throw it back in there you'll have another bite so we're gonna keep casting around see if we can find another stack of fish Ooh, that was a bite come on there you go oh. there we go oh that's a winning fish right there i think he bit me one time and came back for it. Come on. She's fighting good. Yeah, that might be the biggest today. Don't come on. Oh, yeah. That's the winning fish right there, son. It's a fat one. Look at that one. Ate it right out there in the middle. So had to be patient with it. These bites are coming slow. That's my fish, number four. I think he's wanted to do uh, numbers now. He's kind of switched it up. He has three out of four now. That's a good little fish, almost a two pounder. How fat he is. Thank you, buddy. Ate it right out there in the middle. That's where I had a couple bites last time. There we go, guys. Let's see if we can get another one. What I was talking about a second ago, where you find one, there's usually more. Now, I had two bites out there earlier. I might be able to fire them up out here. I know there's definitely more. That fish ate it so weird at first. All those other ones earlier were just eating it. That one hit it and then he came back for it. That was a carp that you saw. There's no carp in here. Yeah, there is. No, there's not. We shocked this whole lake. That, that was 100% a carp, dude. There we go. Oh, that feels better. Oh, he came off. Oh my gosh, dude. I've lost just as many fish as I've caught today. That was a winning dang fish right there and I freaking lost one. Hey, I figured out where it's at. This is the spot, guys. Got to be more down there. Got two to bite. Oh, so now I'm up on you four to three, but I got a deal. Whoever catches the next fish wins. It's all for nothing. It's going to be that simple. All for nothing. Whoever Everyone catches all in? the next fish. And we're fishing right next to you. You must buddy. have a feeling or something, don't you? I got a feeling I'm going to catch it right here. <laughs> Yeah. What was he said? The next one to catch a fish is the winner. Get up on the shoreline. Look at him. That's crazy. That's a pretty good one too. You know what he? You know what he looks like to me? What? He looks like the winning number. <laughs> <laughs> that is the well, Father's Day special right there, Pop. Father's Day special. Goes to Daddy Van Dam. He won the challenge fair and square. We both caught four today, but I kind of did that to myself. I said next fish wins, and that's the winning bass.